Yes, you saw Leon. I don't want to work on it on stream because I'm personally not happy with the drawing. I think it looks ugly. I'm probably never going to finish it or I'll just redo it. But hello, I want to see. Where, where? Sounds like someone's crying. Too bad I don't care. Sorry, that was a joke. I didn't mean that. I have kindness in my heart. It looks so good for the one millisecond we saw it. Yeah, I am pretty talented at drawing things for one millisecond. Anyways, I'm not happy with it. I think it looks ugly. So I'm drawing Rainbow Dash. I don't even care. Hi, Rainbow Dash. I just want to draw something colorful. Bros, could you imagine if I'm like not even going to college? Because I'm like, oh, I'm going to be going to college soon, everyone. I'm going to miss you all. But I've been streaming like every single day. Where's the Lisa? I'm not happy with it, so I'm drawing Rainbow Dash. Also, I hate you. Could you imagine? What if I am just lying to all of you? Back off, Mason. Why do you guys defend this guy? I literally called you God. Why are you being cruel to me? Sometimes you can be worshipped and adored and you still treat people poorly. Defending the defender. Meeting the defender doesn't deserve defenders. This guy sucks. Whatever, we're probably gonna draw the batter today because I seem to be addicted to literally always drawing him on stream. It's not my fault, he's just so drawable. Let's make you super duper. What's the light? Super duper. Right. Nathan deserves defenders? I disagree. Also, I hate you. I hate you on a personal level. Saturated? Yeah, I knew that. Hi, I'm back. I had to let my dog out. Oh, while you were doing that, like, one of the fleas just died at their desk right now. You missed it, though. So, you also missed the invitation to the funeral. So, you're not allowed to come really sorry. It's true, I died. See, Brandon is confirmed. Stop lying. What? When have I lied? I don't even know what you guys are on about. I think you guys might be going crazy from the lack of stream. Even though I haven't started streaming any less than I normally do, I think you guys are still going crazy. My Rainbow Dash Interpretation. She has little crown hair. Cause I think it's cute. I need to animate. I haven't animated in like a really long time. Dang. What if I like lose it? What if I lose my animation power? I need to lock in. I seriously haven't touched the iPad in so long. I think I gotta just finish that Jack Stolberg song I was working on a long time ago. I'm a, I'm like, so not want to. What's the word? I so badly don't want to animate because I left off on a part that's really hard. And I know that when I start animating again, 
I'll be at that part and I'm gonna be miserable. You powered by Goku when you anime? No. I'm never like Goku. I'm not cool enough to be like Goku. I know. I'm pathetic and I should just give up on life. <laughs> Nobody said that, but I'm telling myself you guys said that to motivate myself. Can you skip it for later? Are you done with everything else? It's like the one big part left. Like, I could skip it, but like, the only other part is like, very simple. Like, I literally just need to get over myself and do it. Before college starts getting actually intense. You're like Goku's sibling, Kroku. Okay, well, no one has ever said that to me before. It's interesting, though. She's like a buddy to me. Rainbow Dash is the most fun to draw for me, but I think she's like my least favorite. Not to say that I dislike her. She's, I just like the other characters more. She's just so fun to draw. so fast how do you do one minute per day okay okay well the minute per day thing was only because it was for the uh story time animation so i wasn't like it wasn't a lot to animate in general like it was just lip sync and then drawing some visuals i don't i can't normally draw like a minute a day i don't think unless i have said i do do that then i don't know i, I was on something else probably you have to lip sync uh lip syncing is <laughs> lip syncing's pretty easy for me <laughs> i like how you can tell when my ego kicked in i had to like pause and go hey <laughs> like she does not have orange. I'm pretty sure. Lip sync is uh, easy for me. It's probably like my favorite thing to anime. Just because it is very easy. At least for me. I know lip sync is hard for some people. But I would say I am pretty good at lip syncing. I think. I would hope. <laughs> It'd suck if I wasn't. I will say that. She's like a little birdie to me. I don't know how to lip sync. It's very easy. I do not know how to explain it in a way that isn't just lock in. But I guess maybe today's stream I'll just redraw the My Little Pony characters. Um. Hmm. Okay, crumb lip sync advice. When you anime lip sync, you want to sound it out with your mouth. So if I animate the word when, what, what, really emphasize and exaggerate the words in your mouth. So what would be this? This is a what, and it's very simple. That's just two frames. When, when. That's literally it. That is literally how I animate lip sync. I am so serious. If you look at my story time animation, that is literally how all of my lip sync is animated. It is very simple. Literally just three frames for the word when. Do not, do not put too much frame into a word, especially if you do not use a lot of frame because I use 10 frames per second. Sometimes the word will draw out for longer, but the most I will do is maybe just add another frame in between. When. 
many mouth shapes do you have? In the animation, the, the in the story time animation, the uh, mouth shapes that I was using a lot was this, was the O, uh, open mouth, closed mouth, closed mouth, but I put lines at the bottom so it's making a F. And then sometimes I had a T, the tooth with the tongue out. Sometimes. Specifically for when I animated the lip sync for whenever I said E, thin. And then this mouth, exactly the same, except they add a tongue. And keep in mind, um, these are like the base shape. So, if I was animate the word so, sometimes it will last for longer. So, it will have this mouth with the O, and then maybe it keeps going, so for the second frame, it will be the O, but slightly flattened out. When you tuck, imagine it like stretch and squash. It is getting wider with every squash that you make, and it gets longer, but it gets thinner, the bigger the mouth is. So if you look at the crumb cat when she is talking, she is like this. Her mouth is very, very big open, and then the next frame, it is closed, and it starts getting wider. And that is basically how the anime lip sync. Uh, I will change it depending on if she is frowning or not. But I think it is really good. Do not overthink lip sync. Sometimes people will go like, Oh, this doesn't look smooth enough. I have to add more frames. But then they end up making it look very... Not good. Hi, I love you. Twitter comics. Thank you. Like... I guess it depends on the style. I would say that my style of animation is very sock puppet. At least for lip sync. Like it opened and then it closed very fast. But that is entirely because of the frames per second I use. It depends for every single person. But just big advice, do not overthink it. Do not put too many frames on. Sometimes it's okay for it to just be open, close, right away. And sometimes you will have frames where you need another part of open to ease in. Just because maybe the voice go on for longer. But just follow your gut. Like, if it looks good, then that's good enough. Another advice I have, if I was to animate me saying a sentence, what I do, I copy and paste the closed mouth and I go through all the frames and paste the closed mouth where I think it would be. And then I start filling it in with the open mouth. Instead of going, uh, closed mouth, open mouth, open mouth, closed mouth, open mouth, closed mouth. I go closed mouth, closed mouth, closed mouth. And I just skip the frames that I don't think would have it. And then I fill it in in between. That's how I did a lot of the lip sync for my story time. Sorry if I literally just yapped in your ear and made no sense. I honestly... Don't doubt that I did that. <laughs> but I hope that helps you even just a little. Smug, you should go into animation. No, Smug, don't you want to be happy in life? Don't do it. Don't do it, Smug. Just kidding. I do animation and I'm happy. <laughs> you made a good plan, but it's go do drugs instead. That's not my fault. That was not my fault. That was not my fault, what just happened. I am not at fault. He's like a macaw. Rainbow Dash if she stopped messing around. Animation has its ups and downs. I love it regardless. I like animating. 
It was very fun. It was a very satisfying process to participate in. When you finally get like to the end point, you have this huge thing that you're just so happy with. I will always love animation. It is basically just a way for me to get what I want. <laughs> I am so genuinely thankful that I know how to animate because I get to make so many things in my head and now everyone has to look at them. Forced to look at Crumb's brain hole. That's torture for most people. But now I'm a YouTuber for it. Huge news. Huge news for me specifically. Rest in peace, everyone else. <laughs> All I have ever animated is the ball bouncing one time and it was too high. I have never done that exercise. I think I probably should try it. I think the closest I have ever gotten to animating the bouncing ball it's specifically in the Jack Baker part of Over and Over where he like he's like bursting through the wall and like there's like some stuff there's some debris falling from the ceiling that's the closest I've got and I think To be honest, when I was younger and watched Milo play, I hated Rainbow Dash. Like, seven-year-old me hated her so much. Oh my god. I kind of get it, though. She's not my favorite. I'm sorry, I'm a Rare Dash truther. No, not Rare Dash. Rare Jack. I know! Apple Dash was Endgame. But dude. Rare Jack is just so much better. No idea what these words mean. Clearly, clearly, clearly you were a part of the My Little Pony fandom. Here's Rainbow Dash for people who care. <laughs> Look how happy she is. Rare Jack is so cute. I'm eternally a Rare Jack defender. It's so good, bro. It's so good, man. They had so much... They had so much chemistry, bro. It just hits different. I wonder where the first... Because this is like the second time I've drawn this specific Rainbow Dash design. I know I drew her before. I drew Pinkie Pie, too. We'll draw Pinkie Pie after this. Where are you? I know I did it, because I posted it on Twitter and it went crazy. This music is too happy. You guys should all be miserable with me. Oh my god, I just thought of something I could draw on stream. There is this uh, Instagram video I saw recently. It was just like... Uh, okay, but then I'd have to draw Carl Heisenberg shirtless. Okay, so maybe I won't do that. <laughs> I've come to my senses. I've come to my senses. Where are you? Oh, I need to draw! I need to draw the resident My Little Pony. Oh, I need to draw those guys again. Those were so cute. I really like my Mia design. My Mia design was so freaking good. My Mia design hit hard, bro. I don't even care, man. My Mia design is so freaking good. I gotta draw it again. Ow, ow, stop hitting us. No, you deserve it. You deserve everything bad that has ever happened to you. Bro, we are not finding that My Little Pony drawing. I really need to organize my art better. Because I just save it all to one folder called pictures. In like no particular order either. Oh 
Okay, bros, we're not fighting here. Did I even save it? I don't think I even saved it. Okay. Okay, well, I found the time I drew Tempest. But that is not about her right now. I need to draw Mia again. My Mia pony was so freaking cute! My Mia pony was so good. She looks so sad. I wrote my cutie mark design for her. Chef's kiss, bro. Her cutie mark design was so smart. I literally used all of my brain cells for that cutie mark design. And that's why I don't know how to do math. Hi, Damali. We were just talking about how much we hate you. So sorry to tell you. But I will say we did mean it. We did mean it a lot. Where's my Mia horse? Where's my Mia horsey? Mia horsey, where are you? Oh, my warrior cats. I have so many Resident Evil AUs that I just like... Don't draw anymore. I need to lock in. People are practically begging for Warrior Cat Ethan. I'm gonna leave. Bros, is this cutie mic not the smartest thing ever? Bros. Bros, and she can lie about it too. She's so good at... Bros, oh my god, I'm not explaining her cutie mic because I look really stupid. But just know... That this cutie mite has so many meanings specifically for Mia. Also, look at this logo I made. Isn't this the best thing ever? People should give me money for free. The people yearn to know? <laughs> well, I guess since you guys all asked. <laughs> okay, that logo is actually sick. I know! I have to replicate the font with drawing. Bros. Okay. So, ah, I'm excited. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I need to like be sedated or like euthanized. I don't even know, man. Okay, fellas. I think it's so cute when people draw Pinkie Pie like a little clown. So like, her cutie mark? First of all, that it's so easy to lie about. Like, Ethan's like, what's your cutie mark for? She's like, it's for watching kids. Cause she's a babysitter. Am I right? But that she's actually overseeing the transportation of Evelyn. Huge news, huge news, huge, huge plot twist even. Pinkie Pie, you're so small. <laughs> and, and it also represents how she basically is a witness to everything. Like, like she's causing so many problems, but she's never the one who actually deals with them. She just watches it happen. Like how she like literally straight up unintentionally killed Ethan. That was her fault, but she had to just watch it, bros. Chrome is like, probably like, dude, we gotta kill this guy. I don't even know, man. We gotta kill this guy. I'm sick and tired of her, bro. I don't want to explain it verbally because I look stupid. You guys have to read the big text paragraph I made of her. That I posted on Tumblr. You're the smartest person ever. I'm going to create a holiday here on it. Yes, I do pretty much deserve that. I pretty much deserve everything good ever that happens to me. I do agree with this. I'm gonna create a new month in your honor. Like Julius Caesar. I should be Julius Caesar. Crumped. That's such a lame month, bro. We need an international crumb holiday. You want to be stabbed? Yes! I should be stabbed to death. 
I believe in this. No one ever understands me. Everyone's always like, what are you talking about? Are you insane? Get away from me. Why are you holding that brick? It's like people just like, they never are willing to give you a chance. Just because I have a large bag filled with bricks that I am holding behind my back to try and hide. People just never respect you if you have bricks. I don't even know, man. It's so messed up. She's so cute. I love Pinkie Pie. This guy is criminally insane. Not even true. When was the last time I said anything insane? You're not allowed to pull up my record. I think giving Pinkie Pie clown makeup is so cute. Family of three would beg to differ. Girl, why are you so fool? Who are you fooling? Okay, now I always have to Google what her hair looks like. I never remember what her hair looks like. Okay, well obviously we're adding more. <laughs> I just am taking it slow. I never remember what her hair looks like. There we go. Hi, cutie! I love Pinkie Pie so much. I think she's so cute. She was my favorite when I was a kid. Her and Fluttershy. I liked Fluttershy a lot. I turned off my mic, what the freak? You guys just missed when I said my entire home address. So sad. So sad that you guys missed that. I always accidentally mute myself. She's so cute. I love you, Pinkie Pie. I was just talking about how Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy were my favorite. Fluttershy was my favorite, and then I lost my favorite toy of her, and I was never the same. Oh my goodness, so sorry to hear. She's so cute! I love you, Pinkie Pie. I love you, Pinkie Pie. Everyone's so mean to you sometimes, and you don't deserve it. She's just like a round little animal to me. She's like a balloon animal! She's so cute and small! I love you, Pinkie Pie. I need to draw Starlight. I love Dictator Starlight. I'm so serious. I thought her bangs were so cute. I wish she kept her hair. I know she got like a weird little swirl or whatever to like show that she's like different, but dude, I thought you were just gonna say I love dictators. Oh, her old bangs were seriously so cute. I need to redraw, I need to draw style. So small, and it's not even her fault. Oh, and she has little hooves that look like clown shoes. Oh, 
Aw, she's just a little baby. I love you, Pinkie Pie. She's literally three apples tall. She literally is and it's not even her fault. She's just a little guy. Look at her. Anyone who's mean to her should die in real life. I'm so serious. The way you draw her is very cute. Yes, cause she's very cute to me. So cutie pie. She was meant for the stage. She was meant to be loved. She was meant to be loved. Look at her. She's so cutie pie. Cutie pie, pinky pie. Maybe we can give her a little hat. Like a little top hat. A little piney hat. Oh! <laughs> I love Pinkie Pie! I love Pinkie Pie so much, I'm so sorry. I love her so much, I'm so serious. She's literally never done anything wrong. I don't care if she's really annoying. Sometimes. <laughs> It's not her fault. It's not her fault she annoys her friends sometimes. She was just born that way. Aww, she gets a little white tummy. She's a little annoying but her fit is hard. <laughs> Pop off my goat pinky pie! I love her so much. I love you, Pinkie Pie. I love you so much, Pinkie Pie. No one will ever understand. Oh, she's like a little piñata. I'm sorry, bros. I'm literally like, I love Pinkie Pie so much. I think she's so cute. I need everyone to understand the vision. We're 100% not drawing Rarity. Cause I know for a fact it's gonna be like the biggest pain in my butt. I have literally never learned how to draw her hair. She rolled around in the confetti. Pinkie Pie, do you know how cute you are? You know everyone loves you, right? I feel too sad to smash this pinata. Good, because she's not an actual pinata. Don't hit her. Get away from me. Get away from her. I'm just gonna guess. That's 2D saturation. Whatever. I'm straight up just putting this out of my brain right now. I don't care if the colors are different. Okay. Oh my god, and there's gonna be this. Oh, she's so small! There's gonna be like one person who's gonna be like, um, why is Pinkie Pie fat? As if it, she's not an actual horse. It was too blue. There we go. And why did you make Pinkie Pie black? She's a horse, bro! Get over yourself! 
do. Every time I see My Little Pony Discourse, it's literally like the most insane thing ever. Oh, she's so small. She's so small. She's like a little toy for me to play with. They turn the ponies well. really tell how much I love Pinkie Pie. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Yay. She's so happy. I love you, Pinkie Pie. Never change. You can't stay in one place. I almost read that as one piece and I was actually, <laughs> I'm actually so disappointed with myself. The fact that there's even discourse about My Little Pony is sad, I think. No, literally, I go on Twitter and someone's like, Fluttershy is so annoying. Like, oh my God, bro. Like, I'm gonna be so serious. Just watch it, bro. I feel like it's not that serious, man. Starlight Glimmer. We're drawing her with her bangs. I don't even care. I hate her new hairstyle so much. I think it looks so lame. Then we'll have to draw her trans girlfriend, Trixie. One Piece wear. Calm down, Lord King. Did Fluttershy do? No, Lydia, like, cause could you imagine saying that to like a 12 year old? Ugh, I hate Fluttershy. It's like, why? <laughs> why do you hate Fluttershy? <laughs> she is more of a pink. Sort of. I'm gonna give Trixie a long face. This is not Trixie, this is Starlight. I wish you was still evil. I love you, Starlight. But I liked you better when you were a dictator. Your hair just looked cuter. Pony, I forgot the name of. It's Starlight Glimmer! And don't you forget it! Crumber loves dictators. Alright, I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> I want. I want Starlight to look different from Trixie. I feel like the face I'm giving her right now is way too Trixie ish. I think Trixie might be one of like my favorite characters, to be honest. Starlight can be rounder than Trixie. I just think Trixie is so cute. She's so funny. She's literally so annoying. And yeah, maybe she did try to enslave Ponyville that one time. But have you considered they were mean to her once? Yeah. That's what I saw. No one ever really thinks about that. <laughs> I just love Trixie. She's so funny. She's so annoying. Oh my god, I remember getting so mad when Starlight sold Trixie's wagon. So mad about that. That's such an insane thing to do. Could you imagine? Could you imagine someone selling one of your belongings without telling you either? That's nuts. Starlight, you you best be on your best behavior, bro. Or I'm taking Trixie away from you.
That's just my mom. Sorry, dude. That episode made me so stressed. Oh my god, there's this one episode that I refuse to watch because I know I'm going to get just really mad about it. I refuse to watch the Twilight Cruise episode. I refuse to watch that one, dude. I am not watching that for the life of me, bro. I know I'm gonna get so mad. What happens? Okay, I don't know, but basically Twilight just gets like... Twilight gets like really mistreated by her family. And then she has to apologize. And I don't think her family ever apologizes to her. I refuse to watch that episode because it's going to make me think about my family and I'm going to get mad. That's messed up. I know. Every time Metal Report comes up on stream, I'm like, I've got to be watched that. Then I forget to keep watching after like 10 episodes. Essentially, Tyler really wants to see this media shower, but everyone keeps sabotaging her and she misses it and explodes on them. They make her apologize. Yeah, she gets like mad at them and yells. And then she has to apologize to them. My poor girl Twilight, she did not deserve that. I love you Twilight Spiker. They'll never make me hate you. They need to hop off my goat. My pony. They need to hop off my pony. She kept getting harassed by this team for photos, and she's gotta say sorry. I know! I saw that, and it made me so mad. And I was just like, man, I cannot watch this. I can't watch this episode, bro. I think I'll actually start dying. I love her bangs. Her bangs are so cute. They should have kept the bangs, man. It does make sense why she would want to change her bangs, but still. Should have kept the bangs just because they were cute. Tyler was like one of my favorite characters. I love her design. I like all the characters. They're all very likable. I don't know if there was any character that I didn't like. Just looked it up, and yeah, the bangs go hide. They're so cute. I hate her new hairstyle. It looks so lame. It's 100% for it to just be more marketable. Which is what else? I would have bought you. I would have bought you with your stupid bangs. No one gets me. Hate her human form. Her human form is so ugly! Don't even get me started! Her hair looks so bad, it makes me angry. They should have kept her bangs. They should have kept her bangs. I've been saying, bros. Her hair is so cute. Dude, like those movies rock, but not a single Equestria Girls design was good. I hated those, bro. I wish they just, like, I, I, I guess it's like for marketing. But like, I remember there was concept art where like Twilight looked normal. And I honestly like that a lot more.
They whitewashed a pony. I know, it's like actually insane. Life isn't fair for the crumb cup toast. People should do things the way that specifically I want. Yes. This is a reasonable demand to make. It was like they just forgot how both horses and people look. Shy. Looks to the side. Is really small and afraid. I think he remember when I was a kid, I don't know, it was very alluring to my child brain. Their outfits weren't very pretty either. I love her hair so much. Starlight Glimmer, you could have been good. You could have had the most rockin' hairstyle. But look at you now. She is planning something. Star Trix is such a cute ship to me. I think... Starlight and Sunburst? Is implied? Maybe? I think I heard that somewhere, but I might be wrong. And if it is, I don't care. <laughs> okay? I never really liked Starlight Glimmer as much. I like her only for Sty Tricks. She's a fun character. I do think she's interesting because a lot of the times, like after she's like redeemed and stuff, she's still kind of like messed up. She's like, oh, people don't want me to, people don't want to do what I want. I'm going to cast a spell that controls them. Like, okay, girl, you got this. Honestly. You're right for that. Like, same with Discord where he's like also reformed, but he also still sucks. I do like it when characters who are bad still suck after a while. Makes it nicer. They feel redeemed, but they also don't feel like different characters. Exactly. I accidentally made uh, Starlight like huge. I'll just shrink her down. I like her. I like that she's evil and messed up. And she keeps trying to use magic to make people do what she wants. I really do think she's so funny for that. Like legit, every time she runs into a problem, she's just like, okay, I'm gonna cast a spell to mind control everyone and make them do exactly what I want. And it's so funny because what is wrong with you? Oh my God, I just remembered Nia discussions I had with you club. Bros, I hate when people... Man, I hope they give me a agency. Like, I'm worried that, like, they might, like, introduce something where, like, it's, like, Mia's, like, oh, I was forced to work for the Connections. I feel like that'd be so lame. I really hope that she just stays a character who did something bad. Like, for a good reason. Like... I hope she stays morally gray. Instead of like, oh, at the age of five, I was forced to work for the connections and transport bioweapons. Like, I don't know, man. I want her to just be okay with doing bad stuff. You think Mia likes Starlight? That'd be funny to think that she is. <laughs> I 
I really hope that Mia is just like, I don't know. I want her to stay just a little messed up. I think it's nice. Because I've had arguments with people before where they're like, um, well, technically, we don't know if Mia was forced into it or not. Because, like, I feel like the problem with Mia's character is that we literally have no information about her. So anytime you even try to make, like, what's the line? An argument against literally anything, it's just like, but we literally don't have information. Well, I talked about this with my friend, and, like... Capcom being so bad at writing woman characters unintentionally made her more interesting. Cause they literally gave her no they literally gave her nothing. And like explain nothing. But it unintentionally makes her like more interesting. Oh. Man. I hope my girl stays evil. Oh, time to draw her cutie mark. Thank you, Capcom, for kind of sucking. We appreciate it. Sometimes it works out. All the men have fully fleshed out backstories and the women are like, a oh, woman, haha. Capcom isn't the best with giving Resident Evil characters depth in the first place, though. I'm pretty sure, like, a majority of the characters just, like, are very flat. At least until like the remakes. I still love you, Ethan. Even though you watched a guy burn to death and literally had no reaction. You're still special to me, Ethan. Light work, no reaction. He really just didn't care. He was like actively watching people die on camera and he was just like, where am I? Like, bro, we're so out of it. <laughs> Poor guy, honestly. I love you. She looks like, like an evil ice cream bar. I don't even know, man. I like I can, you can tell how much I love the character by how much more extra stuff I'm giving them. Like, <laughs> look at Pinkie Pie compare Starlight. Listen, girl, I love you. I just, girl, I do not think of you often. You can have earrings as a treat. Hi, Crumb, I am sick. What happened? Her and Trixie are married, so they're both gonna have little rings on their horns. I don't even care. Snarls at you guys. Get well soon, Ravioli. Of two ear infections? Ew! Can you hear me? If you can't hear me, I want you to know that I actually secretly hate you. Two ear infections is crazy. She kind of looks like a deer with all these speckles. I'm dying and you say ew. I only meant it like mostly, if it makes you feel better. So like there was a part of me that probably was like, eh, I don't know. Hope that makes you feel better. I'm sure it does. Trixie would be a silver girl who wears gold to match with Starlight. Mm, maybe. 
maybe. I was thinking of giving her silver, but I am a sucker for yellow and blue. So we'll see how it goes. Ad time already? Well, I haven't even gotten to work on Trixie. The best character. <laughs> Okay, I need to go to sleep before I pass out. Good news. Good night. Get well soon. In 30 seconds. Too late, bro! It's already done. The universe just exploded. I'm thinking about how ad time, how ad starved you guys will all be when I start being able to not stream. Okay, after this, I have to work on the animation. I gotta work on it, man. I haven't been doing anything. She's such a spikely pony. I want to make her frown, but she's supposed to be like redeemed. She looks mildly evil, but it's okay, I think. I hope. Yeah, you're not too evil. You're fine. Okay, girl, I accidentally made you huge. Okay, you, you tower above Pinkie Pie. And Rainbow Dash. I guess that's fine. I could shrink you, but it ruined the quality. But then I'm also uploading it to Twitter. So, like, I think regardless, quality is going to suck. The woes, the woes of shrinking something down. Maybe like that. She's so cute. I love you, Starlight. I hope Twitter doesn't go crazy over My Little Pony yet. Thankfully, the people who get really weird about My Little Pony redesigns are mostly on like TikTok. Like, someone will draw Rainbow Dash with short hair, and someone will be like, I thought Rainbow Dash was a girl. Oh my god, I saw an Instagram post where it was, like, some, like, bunny character. I think it's from, uh, what's that? What's that thingy? With Catnap or whatever. It was one of those characters. And, like... It was like this rabbit that was green. And like... It was wearing a jersey. And the people in the comments were actually insane. They were like... They are like... Why is it playing a sport? I thought it was a girl. Like, what are you saying right now? Like, I genuinely feel so insane looking at Instagram comments. Why is she green when she's a girl? Like, where am I, bro? Trixie the Lullaby. Oh, wow. She's a lot more blue than I thought. Do they think girls can't play sports? Girls can't play sports. I don't know where you've been, Pearl, but this is a new development. I think I took a screenshot of it. You get a big horn. Star gets an itty bitty horn. You get a big horn. Why is she green? Women can only be pink and men can only be blue. Come on, guys, we know this. Yeah, okay, everyone in chat, 
you have to change your name to pink or blue, depending on if you are boy or girl. If you're neither, then you have to choose the secret third option. Hi, King Square. Not King Square, King of Lizards. Too many kings in my chat. We got King Square, King of Lizards, Lord King. I've had enough of those. You guys think you're all that. You guys think you're all special. The kings are all related. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. Down with the monarchy. I'm saying the only, the only king should be crepit. Anything else is just, it's not even true. Trixie. Thought I changed my name to Blue as a joke, but I literally forgot how. I don't know how to use literally anything on Twitch. I'm so serious. My friend is like, oh, I've never watched on Twitch before. How do I do this? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I'm the streamer. I don't think I have ever watched a stream for a long time. Like, I guess I'm not interested. Maybe I'll watch a German stream one day, but that's it. That's probably like the most I'll watch. To everyone who watches me and is a regular, I applaud you. I genuinely don't know how you do that. I don't know, but I feel bad for leaving. Dude, you don't have to watch my streams because you feel bad. Oh my god. That's nuts. Dude, you're like allowed to leave. If Crumb doesn't show up in 15 minutes, you're legally allowed to leave. Not you? Oh, I was like, dude, that's crazy! You guys are legally not allowed to leave crumb streams. I want you to be more straight up. If I leave, I die. <laughs> I think, I just think you're cool enough to show up and chat consistently. All my regulars who are always chatting consistently, I love you. You keep the stream going, and I'm serious when I say that. Ew. What do you mean, ew, bro? You weren't even saying anything earlier. This guy lives with so much hatred in his heart. It's honestly absurd I forgot to give you your cutie mic. There you go. Ugh, your cutie mic is so weird. What the heck? It's like that. Girl, what does your cutie mic even mean? I am now starting to realize this. The stinker. Awesome cutie mic to get. Cutie mic where you just stink really badly. I need to draw fruit gummy again. She was cute. She was so small. You could tell that I really liked Pinkie Pie. Cause Fruit Gummy also looked like a little, what's the word? Pinata. I want 
want you to be more prim and proper. Blah, that was wrong. I want you to be like this. Stick your chest out. You're proud of what you do and you know you're the best. Because you are the best. And everyone loves you, Trixie. The great and powerful Trixie. Applejack is my favorite main six pony. Don't people like really hate Applejack? I know that's a thing. I think Applejack in like the brony community was like very... I think she was like the least favorite maybe I think? I don't know. I could be lying entirely. Bronies hate butch lesbians, I fear. Sad world we live in. She's a lesbian and normal. Pinkie Pie will forever be my favorite. It's cause she's so cute. She just has so much kindness in her heart. Well, I guess laughter. I love her. She's so itty bitty and small. It's not even her fault. I love you. They'll never make me hate you, Pinkie Pie. People gotta hate on farmers all the time. I hate small businesses! Rips my shirt. I hate small businesses! I'm full of hatred. Her little Kare. She's so cute. Okay, she kind of looks like the spa pony now. We do not want that. like a magician. Come, but you have to the American middle class. I have nothing against the American middle class. I'm full of love and whimsy. Crumb Carp Toast, notorious for being full of hatred on stream. Crumb, you may want to whack on intros and they are expensive. How could you? Okay, well, compared to the other tablets on the market, a Wacom Interest is like significantly cheaper, I feel like. Gaia, why are you so smile? for breakfast? If I did that, some of my streamer friends would be on there, bro. Crumb eats ponies for breakfast. Oh my goodness, are you drawing ponies? Yes, I am. The cutest, idiest, biggest ponies. I'm drawing Trixie right now because I love her. Let her smile. She's so mischievous. Rose full of sunshine and rainbow sighs and looks into the sunset? Okay, I didn't know that everyone was so sad today. <laughs> She's so mischievous! I love ponies. They look cool in your style. Thank you. Smiles. I like ponies too.
Pixie and her big dictator girlfriend. <laughs> They'll have matching spiky eyes. I think it's cute. like a little built-in magician's cape. When you are born looking like this, then you basically have to become a magician. There's like really no option for you. It's okay though. She is a very good magician. Okay, not for your hair. Your hair is very pale. We need to make it paler than the stripes that I gave you, though. College starts in a few days. I won't be able to ruin my sleep schedule to watch crumb streams. This is truly a tragedy. I think it's maybe for the best. Go fix your sleep schedule, bro. Crumb is like number one sleep schedule supporter. I think every nyan should have a good sleep schedule. So cutie pie. watching in college and has never done anything wrong to my schedule ever. Well, I started school again last week. I didn't think I can do this anymore. Teachers forcing everyone to buy 12 folders for her one class. Hello? Maybe you really need those folders. You never know. You need one? You need one for every worksheet. This is required, obviously. Sleep schedule, I'm finally starting to fix it. I've recently been sleeping before midnight thanks to getting melatonin. Ah, oh, melatonin looks into the sky. I've been having trouble sleeping. You're taking it from me. You're taking my sleep schedule from me. You! It's been you this entire time. I'll kill you. Give it back to me. Give me back my sleep schedule. I haven't been able to sleep well recently. I'm not sure why. Her big hat. The craziest dream. <laughs> Hope everyone's so excited. <laughs> it was such a crazy dream, though. I swear, man. Time for migraine? No, you're not gonna get a migraine. You're just gonna get very confused and scared. So I had a dream. Okay, so there was the first half of the dream. I think it took place on the Titanic. I'm not too sure though. And I can't really remember anything that happened. I do remember dying though. But I think it was for a game. I'm not sure. But I remember like... I think Evelyn was there maybe? I think it was in a zoo. Okay, well, but the stuff I do remember. I think there was like... I think there was like... 
a cheesecake factory. Which is like a restaurant in the USA for people who do not know. Um, when I was meeting my friend IRL, and for some, it was coffee, it was coffee, yes, it was coffee, it was coffee. And I had a dream I was meeting them IRL, and we were at the beach, and for some reason, they like really, really, really wanted to see the Teen Titans Go movie. And like, I kept trying, I was trying to be supportive, like. You know, yeah, sure, we can watch the Teen Titans Go movie if you want. And then it turns out that they really wanted to watch it because when they were a kid, someone made fun of them for not watching a lot of movies. So now it was their goal to watch every single movie. That was their sad backstory. I don't even think we ended up watching it. I think... There was like this ride, but it was like a puzzle ride. I remember how the puzzle ride worked. I'm not gonna draw it out though, cause it's really stupid. But like, I think I died on it. I think I died on it. And then there was like some dude getting canceled on the ride. He was getting canceled on Twitter and that was his ride. So his ride was getting canceled. So everyone went on it at the same time. And I think it broke and we all died. And then the Cheesecake Factory gave us a lot of potato balls. Which I don't even know is a thing that they actually sell. I think that's like the most vivid dream I've had in like a while. I haven't been having vivid dreams recently. Something's wrong with me. To not be having dreams. I want to give her like a little... Yeah, that's cute. Okay, not as crazy as I thought it would be. I don't have crazy dreams. I don't know why you would ever think of that. Most normal creme dreams, to be honest. Whatever. You guys all hated me. You guys always hated me. You want to hurt me! You guys all want to hurt me! Aw, her cute little tail. <laughs> Duh! I love you, Off. Off, you will always have a special place in my heart. It's so unintentionally funny. True? What? I know you don't mean it, Lord King. Because if you really wanted to hurt me, then you would have FNAF jump scared me at VidCon. And you didn't. Which means you secretly care. Ah, Aw, sound effect. Boo! Why are you booing me? Thank you, Suck Master, for gifting us up to Swagsicle, really? We are sending five nuclear bombs to your house right now. I didn't even do anything wrong this time. This time. Pieces of my Trixie keep disappearing. Ooh. I was busy trying to eat this pumpkin pie of VidCon. It really took a lot out of me. Oh my god, shut up! Shut up, oh my god. I'm literally never baking again. I'm actually so devastated. I'm so serious. I'm never baking again in my life. I cannot stand to think of it. Oh my gosh. It's so embarrassing. Next VidCon, I'm gonna meet with my friends. And I asked them if they wanted me to bake anything. And I'm just thinking about it. And it's like, can I, like, go back on my word? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad! I'm never baking again in my life. I give up on my hobby. I'd enjoy a creme baking stream. 
Too bad it's never ever gonna ever happen ever, bro. Oh, she's so pretty. Everyone is so designed, and then there's just Starlight. Starlight looks so lame, but I love Trixie, so it's okay. Does Trixie have gold? I'm a sucker for the gold. Also, silver would blend in too well. I liked your pie. Girl, you weren't even there! Hello? Bro's trying to make me feel better by lying to my face and hoping I believe it. <laughs> Hello? I'm never baking again. It's over for me, bros. Hello? Oh, it's because of my hair and top. My career is over. Aw, oh, they're so cute together. My mom walked into the room and thought you were the creator of My Little Pony because of these drawings. Hello? <laughs> That's such an insane jump in logic to make. I don't even know what to say, honestly. Oh, her cutie mic is so cute. It's like a little wand, I think. Oh, her cutie mic is so cute. Trixie Lola Mooney will always be famous. There's your cute little cutie mic. So adorable. Look at everyone. Everyone is so happy. Who knows? Maybe Creme really is the creator of My Little Pony. Yeah, it's not like you guys could, like, prove it wrong ever. I don't really like Starlight. <laughs> no offense. I don't like the design I made for her. I'm not happy with it. Everyone else is very cute, though. Mm, you can stay for now only because I want everyone to see your matching jewelry with your wife. That is all. Is Chrome Cat a pony now? I want to draw the Resident Evil pony. My little pony pony. Let's draw Ethan pony. No, shut up. Okay. Mia pony. Me a pony. You have free will, kid. <laughs> you can be nice to oneself. Don't tell me what to do. You think you're better than me? <laughs> I like getting aggressive for no reason. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to help. You think you're better than me? You think you can tell me what to do? I think people should like get really offended over little things. I think it'd be funny. I'm gonna start getting really defensive over stupid things. People should not do that. Oh yeah, why? Why, do you think it's because people shouldn't share how they feel? <laughs> Just like that. Streamer got replaced by Roxy Wolf. <laughs> Nobody loves you! She's genuinely so funny. What was wrong with her? <laughs> Gregory! Your parents hate you! Nobody loves you! She was genuinely so mean for no reason compared to all the other animatronics. I love you, Roxy. You're so funny. People will never get you.
Oh my god, the batter pony. The batter pony. We gotta do a batter pony. Would he be an earth pony? Or would he be... Nah, yeah, he'd be an earth pony. Yeah, he'd 100% be a nice pony. Hey, Crown, your eye is moderately worse than mine. Not even true. My eye is good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say just king. My eye is good. <laughs> See? It's good to have confidence in yourself. Sometimes I make things I don't like, but my eye is good. You might have invented that. I might just be the best person ever, is what I'm hearing. Zachary would be a Pegasus? He would definitely be a Pegasus. I don't know what the batter would be, but I do feel like he'd definitely... I have that I just thought of. Have you guys ever seen someone animating? This is really specific, but it's like pause, but then in the next frame, they like turn into fingers. Like, they'll turn into fingers based on when they need the fingers. I swear, this has happened and I see it and I get really upset. It's like my biggest pet peeve. Where, like, someone will draw a furry and their hands look like this. And then in the next frame, like, they'll just be hands. Like, hand hands. I swear that happens and it's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like it. I also dislike the concept of paws looking like human hands. It freaks me out. Don't you kind of do that sort of? Chrome Cat doing this with her hand is not the same. It's a fat paw. I'm talking about... When it's like this, and it goes into like that. That's like too much. Chrome Cat can have like, like human hands done as like a bit in the story time. But like sometimes I see animations where it like randomly switches just for like the convenience. And it's like, I don't know, man. That's, that, I don't like it, bro. Can you remember what Mia looks like? I feel like the battery would be a unicorn. I'm sorry, the spiky fits him too much. I don't know what he would be. A story time is my favorite video, OMG. I'm glad to hear that. his horn to kill things. He can't really hold his bat either if he's like not a pegasus. I mean a unicorn. Because literally what would he do? Teeth? <laughs> I still never know if I should draw Mia with blue eyes or brown eyes. I never know. I do like her with blue eyes, because it looks pretty. But at the same time, me when a woman with big beautiful brown eyes tells me what to do. They're just both good. You can never decide. Unicorns use magic to hold things, right? Yeah, and sometimes Pegasuses in the show, they'll use their wings as hands, and I think it's really cute. This cutie mug is just a dead body because he kills people. 
His cutie mark is a suspiciously bat shape hitting a kid on the head that suspiciously looks like Hugo. And nobody really knows what to do about it. So they just try to ignore it. Oh wow, Batty, you got your cutie mark? Yeah, what is it? It's like, it's like him hitting like a baby. Should the cutie mark be the three circle things? Oh, his add-ons, that would be cute. It wouldn't really make sense though. It's like a cute concept though. How could he have possibly gotten it without hitting a baby before? You don't know what he does in his free time. Just saying. And this guy? I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just say. I never know how to draw swirly hair. His horn has three wings on it. Oh, that's actually really cute. That's like a creative way to show his add-ons. Ethan wouldn't hit a baby. Girl, we're not talking about Ethan, hello? <laughs> Rohan hit a baby and had to defend Ethan immediately. You're real for that, though. We literally do. He woke up in our arms and told us to make him kill people. <laughs> He's so funny. What was wrong with him? He literally just spawned in. He's like, this is how you move my body. Hit that cat. He's so funny. I love you. I love you the batter off. You're literally only three days old and it's so funny. Mia's so pretty. never did anything wrong. I can't even say that about her because there actually are people who do think she never did anything wrong. So I can't even say that as a joke. <laughs> it's not even fun. Like, if I say Starlight did nothing wrong ever, it's funny because she was a dictator and everyone knows she sucks. But there's what? There's always one person who's like, no, you know what? Yeah! Yeah! Mia did do nothing wrong! And it's like, alright, man, you ruined it. I want my girl to be evil. I want my girl to be evil and full of malice. Mia should be able to kill anyone she wants all the time. Mia should kill Chris in Resident Evil 9. I don't even care anymore. Someone actually did respond. They sent me a Tumblr ask. They're like, what, wait, what are you what are you looking for in Resident Evil 9? And I so badly wanted to respond with a grave that said Chris Redfield on it. But I didn't. I held back. I held back because I have kindness in my heart. And I didn't want to cause problems. I found the kindness in my heart. You should have. Someone definitely would have gotten really mad. I don't want to crumb deal with that. 
I was also thinking that when I posted that tweet about Leon and Sherry, I was thinking, like, what if there's, like, this one person who's, like, Leon's number one defender and is gonna be like, um, actually, Sherry and Leon did have a father-daughter relationship. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't play the game, but didn't, like, okay, isn't, like, Sherry's entire thing with Claire and not Leon. Like, I thought she was with Claire for a majority of the game. I don't know what Leon was doing. I don't know what Leon was doing in her life. I feel like if there was a parental relationship with Shay, it'd be Claire, wouldn't it? Mason Defender, if he was evil, Leon Defender. I don't even want to think of that. That's a scary Akne universe. Mia's beautiful cutie mark. Beautiful Mia Wells. The only thing Leon does for Sherry is become an agent for the government to protect her if I recall correctly. Leon literally meets her first when they escape from the lab. They have no time to form a father-daughter relationship. I think you're wrong. I think Leon is actually a single father. Poor guy. He's worked so hard. Oh, look at Mia. She looks so sad and tired, though. Whatever. A single mom who works two jobs. She's married to Ethan. They have silver rings. Oh, the yellow looks so much nicer. Whatever, fine. How do stupid silver ring? Wait, where would Ethan put it? He's an earth pony. Does he just get like a bracelet? Maybe he gets like a necklace or something. Earring? Oh, that's cute. Around the tail base? Ethan has like a little itty bitty tail. Time to draw your beautiful husband. He's blue, cause he's boy color. When I made Mia, I thought she was so pretty, but then at the same time, I was like, I gotta make them more colorful. Cause look at Mia compared to freaking Rainbow Dash. It's my little pony. I gotta... Stop being round, boy. Human, I remember your blue. I love it whenever it's like lying so much you can't even see the word. Just makes me feel like a loud beaming noise. Where are you, Ethan Pony? I need you. I need you, Ethan Pony, so I remember what you look like. I have way too many things saved. Maybe I should reorganize it by like the date I worked on it. Or the day it was created. Because that'd probably be very helpful. I'm pretty sure it's probably under my little resident. I think I'm so funny. I just realized you guys can't see me looking through my files. You're just forced to stare at a blue circle. I hope you enjoy. So my stream froze. No, this is part of the experience. Just staring at the blue circle. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M. Okay. Where are you? Where are you, my little pony? 
Where are you? Like, this is the first My Little Pony Ethan. I like him a lot in this one. He's so happy. I mean, he's not, but like, I don't know. <laughs> not the alphabet. We're learning the alphabet with this one. Krem learns the alphabet for the first time ever. Huge news. Huge news for people who want to see Krem Cup Toast get an education. Can we do an alphabet stream one day? Genuinely, what does that even mean? I'm so serious. What does that entail? Oh my god, wait, shoot. There is this website that I used to go on to learn letters. I can't remember what it was called. But then there is a part where it would be D for dinosaur. Or was it S for Stegosaurus? And a dinosaur would show up and it would make a roaring sound. And I was so scared of it. I would literally hide in the closet every single time it came up. Two reactions. Oh, that's so sad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, why are you so eyed? Be more like Mia. Dinosaur sand cream running and hiding. It did. Okay, and then there was Z. There was Y and Z boy or something. Zigzag boy! Oh my god, does anyone remember Zigzag boy? Does anyone remember Zigzag boy? Zigzag boy and Zigzag girl. I, I, I sound so insane, but I swear. No, you're crazy. No! Zigzag boy! Please! Someone in chat has to know. Someone in chat has to know Zigzag boy. Oh my god. I actually look insane. Wait, this sounds slightly familiar. Please! Please! And they lived on a farm or something. And there was Zigzag girl. No, but I believe you. Crow <laughs> yelling zigzag boy over and over is so funny. I literally look insane. And it's your guys' fault. I need to find it. I need to find zigzag boy now. Do you have a black and white shirt? Yes! 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 Please, wait, okay, hold on. I'm Googling it. I'm Googling it. I know it's real. I know it's real. I know it's real. Sig, sag, boy. Sig, sag, boy and girl. Oh my god! I found it. Oh my god, will I get copyrighted if I play it? Zig. Surely not. Right? Oh my god, I need all of you to watch it. I need everyone to watch it with me. I don't even care. Where is it? Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, everyone, quiet, quiet. Zigzag. I am a little zigzag boy who goes this way and that. I never know just where to put my coat or shoes or hat. <laughs> Does anyone remember this? I am a little zigzag girl who flutters here and there. I never know just where to find my brush to fix my hair. <laughs> I am a little zigzag boy who I goes this way and that. I never know and and just where to put my girlfriend. It doesn't even sound good. They're just singing over each other. It's not so even sounding good. We are the zigzag people. That's the way it goes. We never know just where to put our brushes or our clothes. <laughs> Wait, 
Okay. Guys, see, I told you. I told you it was real. I told you. I told you it was real. Nobody believed me. They all thought I was crazy. They all thought I was crazy. <laughs> Proved you guys wrong. She smiled. Can we get a morning back? Oh my god, I just realized it's like dead silent. Here you go. I watched that as a kid. I was a Styfall kid. Is that what it was called? Styfall? I don't remember. Ethan Pony. Ethan Pony so small. Starfall game stream. Maybe we should do that. Starfall gaming stream. And then you guys can witness my childhood. And I can finally meet that dinosaur that I was so afraid of. I can finally get over my fear. Or I'll start screaming in the middle of stream and I won't stop. And it'll be a horrible experience for everyone. Sounds like a plan to me. That's literally like the lamest stream idea ever. I'm literally just realizing it. Guys, come watch me play kindergarten games. Can you animate your own version of Zigzag Boy and Girl? I've heard that song enough times to last me years. I am a little zigzag boy. <laughs> you did play Hangaroo. Hangaroo was different. Hangaroo was a once in a lifetime experience. I recorded from the screen when you started singing. Dude, I used to watch that thing so much. Do another flash game stream, please. We need it. Okay, I'll look into it. Maybe I will find something. The Resident Evil ponies are so desaturated compared to the normal ponies. I don't know. What's the word? What games I should play on stream though? Cause I think the games that I played last time are like, at least most of the ones that I remember. Because friendship isn't magic for them. Uh oh, I made Ethan a little small so he might end up shorter than Mia. Have you played this game called Run? Okay. I did not play that game a lot as a kid, but like everyone knows what Run is. Everyone knows what Run is. And I don't think that game really qualifies a stream for playing. Wait, okay, Duck Life. Okay, I'm actually down to play Duck Life. Okay, the one thing with that Will one stream be enough to finish the whole thing? I'm so serious. I don't remember. I loved Duck Life so much. Boy, what are you looking so polite for? Stop that. Oh yeah, he's a blank blank. Poor thing. He's a blank flank and it's not even his fault. I mean, it is his fault, lol. <laughs> I 
I used to speed on Duck Live if you can finish it in 30 minutes. I definitely can. Well, I'm not going to because it's like streams like two hours long. But I will finish it on stream. I haven't played that game in ages. I don't think I ever beat it. I was too bad at the end. Spoilers, where you have to run through a volcano. Spoilers for Duck Life. I wasn't good at it. I wonder which Duck Life I played. I think it's a little hot on his chest because he's special. And everyone loves him. I love him. I love you, Ethan. Nobody appreciates Ethan enough. Crow, why did you spoil Duck Life for me? I was gonna go play it. Sorry, man! Crow is a horrible streamer. I can never forgive myself. Ethan has like huge dilated pupils. You gotta stay true to that. Someone buy her brown contacts. Uh oh, I think he might actually end up being shorter than you. No, Ethan, you're supposed to be bigger. No! Okay, you guys are like the same height. Stop that, you're supposed to be tall. Is he high? Why are they dilated? Because he's looking at his beautiful wife, which he loves. Why do you hate short men? I don't hate short men. But Ethan is just not a short man. That's just factual actual. Look at him. I remember this one learning a type game I played back in elementary. It was actually kind of fun. I forgot the name of it though. Nitro type? Anyone here know Nitro type? Aw, Ethan. Your cutie mark is so lame. But it's so special. No, not that. It was different. I don't think I can help you, bro. The nitro type trauma. Dude, I was so bad at nitro type. It wasn't even funny. It was just sad. I was the best number one nitro type player ever. Shut up, bro. Not even true. I disagree. Also, I hate you. Hmm. I play girls' girl games a lot. I played a lot of cooking games on Girls Grow Games. Oh my gosh, did anyone like download? Did anyone download those games on like your iPad that was like Fair Food Simulator where you just make fair food? Like you just fry a coin dog? I played so many of those. Dude. I was always out there making snow cones, cookies. I would do plain simulator. I think the only simulator game I played was Wolf Simulator. And something else. What else was it? Let's try a smaller fruit gummy though. She's full of hatred and also hates all of you. I played those Mago games where you like gave someone a makeover. Oh, oh, does anyone, does anyone know like the Disney pet fruit salon? Fruit salon, I mean hair salon. Sorry, I'm thinking of fruit gummy right now. I 
I played that one a lot. With like all the Disney pets that are like, what's the word? Like, like Sleeping Beauty's pink cat or whatever. I used to play those so much. I think my cousin had it on their iPad. Wretched creature. Wretched creature of nature. Dumb. What? Be nice. She literally didn't even do anything. Why is it looking at us like that? It's full of hatred. Oh, I used to love Toka Kitchen. I would low-key re-download it just to play it right now. At my grown age. Maybe I should. Not even for stream, I just actually just want to play it. Playing Duck Life on Cruel Mask Game right now and I didn't know you get ads mid-game. No! You get ads mid-game? No, I don't want to do that. That sounds like it sucks. Whatever, frowns. Slash raid eel. You know? Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Yes, I finally spelled the name right. Anyways, it has been two hours. Thank you, every Yan, for coming. Hope you enjoyed me drawing all these cute, itsy bitsy little ponies. I will see all of you Saturday. Okay, bye!